for another video here in our audio series and today we're going to be taking a look at something that's not necessarily an effect but uh, more kind of gives you some information and that is the frequency analyzer. So this allows you to see what's going on with your frequencies from zero all the way up to about 25,000 or 24,000 kilohertz just to kind of see where you might have some problems, some spiking, some peaking or anything like that. That's what this effect is going to show you and you can apply it to either a clip or a track. So let's jump right into DaVinci Resolve and we're going to check it out. I'm going to show you how to throw it on here and how to use it. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. I've got a random clip up in my timeline here that we're going to take a look at and we're going to put the frequency analyzer both on this clip as well as on the track. Now most of the effects here in Fairlight you can put them on a clip or a track. So first I'm going to show you how to drop it onto just this clip. So I'm in the edit tab which is this guy right here. So you can come on up to your effects library, click on that. And when you look in your uh, toolbox over here on the left hand side, you want to be under audio effects and Fairlight effects. And then you can come on over here to the frequency analyzer. And it's as easy as clicking it, dragging it and dropping it on your clip. And that'll bring up the frequency analyzer window right here. And you can do this with any one of the Fairlight effects over here. And that's just how you do it in the edit tab. But let's jump over into Fairlight and let's say we want to apply this on a track level versus a clip level like we did right here. So I'm going to close this. I'm actually going to undo to take that off the clip. And I'm going to jump over into the Fairlight tab, which is the little musical notes right here. So now I'm in the Fairlight tab. I have a range selected here of my clip that we're going to play through. And we want to add this onto my entire track, not just this particular clip. So in order to do that, you want to have your mixer open, which is right over here. If you don't have your mixer open, come on up to the top, click on this little guy right here, and that's going to open your mixer. Then you want to look in the section called effects right here. If you don't see that, click on the three little dots and make sure you've got your effects checked on. And you may need to scroll up and down with your mouse wheel here if you're not seeing it, just to make sure you can scroll through the options here. And you can always turn off some of these if you're still having trouble seeing it. So go ahead and click on the effects, the little plus icon here. You want to come down to metering and then we have frequency analyzer. We're going to go ahead and click on that. Right over the window real quick here, we have add a preset. This is where your presets would show up. You can cycle through your presets using this and this. You have your A, B toggle. And again, you can check out the link above to go see what that does and how it works. But that's going to allow you to set two different settings for this effect. And actually, this isn't even an effect. It's more of just a meter that you can look at to see what's going on with your particular track or clip. Got your reset button here and your little lock the plugin window and preset manager. So on the left here, we have our meter, that's our input levels. And then over here, we've got our spectrum analyzer. And basically this just gives you a graphic way to see what's happening with all the frequencies on your track or your clip or whatever's being played at the moment. And if we look right here, we have mode. So you've got a couple options here. You can see the full spectrum of everything that's happening, or you've got the option to break it down to just the low frequency range, the mid range, or the high frequencies. So I'm going to loop this clip that I have here just so we can see what's going on. And then we're going to go through these different modes and take a look as well. So to start playing through, I'm just going to hit option and forward slash. And I've muted the track so we don't have to hear it. But you see, this gives us a good graphical representation of what frequencies are where, where we might be having some peaks, and really where all our frequencies lie. So a lot of times, you know, we'll throw on that uh, high pass filter, which is going to cut out everything generally below, you know, 100 for our speaking audio. And you can see here, we don't really have much going on there, which is why I say, you know, throw on that high pass filter. So we cut out anything that's below, say, 100 uh, hertz here if you're speaking or, or dealing with vocal track. And in the same way, if we look up here, we could put on a low pass filter where it's going to cut out everything above, say, you know, 12,000 or 13, maybe 14,000 kilohertz because you can see up here we don't really have much going on there either. Now if we go up here to mode and we go to low frequency range, now this just kind of zooms in for us. So we've got five kilohertz up to 320. And right about here is that 100 megahertz range I generally talk about. You've got your bass and things down in this area here. And it just gives you a zoomed in look of what's going on with our low end frequencies. Now if we come up to mode and go to our mid range, we can see what's going on with our mid-range frequencies. We've got quite a bit going on down here on the lower end. And then your vocals are pretty much up in here around the one to 2000 kilohertz range. So right around in here. So we can see that there's, uh, you know, quite a bit of stuff going on there. And if we come back up to mode and we change that to high frequency, we can see what's going on with our high frequencies from 4,000 all the way up to 24,000 kilohertz here. And you can see once it gets to that 10,000 range, it really starts to drop off. And, you know, everything that's up in here 
you really don't need, you know, unless maybe it's like singing vocals or something like that. And we can even see that our levels are a little hot for some of these things. Again, I didn't do anything with this clip. I just dumped it right in. And uh, it's really just used to sync up my better microphone with my camera audio. All right, guys, so there you go. That is the frequency analyzer. Just kind of gives you a better idea of what's going on with your frequencies and where you might see some problems or some spikes in your audio clips or your audio tracks. So I hope this video was helpful. If you're liking this audio series, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.